Good morning to all my friends. Um, over the past three years, the Lord has given me 38 different Harpazo or Catching Away dreams and visions. And it's been amazing. And I've never had two in one night, <laughs> but I did last night. Praise the Lord. We are so close to getting out of here. <clears throat> it's amazing uh, how things are happening. I was telling my wife that just look at the news and listen to it. It screams prophetic end times. It screams we're not going to be here much longer. It, this whole world has changed. It's different now. It's never going to be the same again. And people need to wake up and understand that our time here is very, 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 very short. Let's get in to the rapture vision first. <clears throat> so, my wife and I were back home. We're on vacation now. We were at a restaurant. And we went outside in the parking lot. There was a lot of people outside. It was a beautiful night. And I started to see some black squiggly lines up in the night sky that were just really pronounced. And the black squiggly lines started turning into white shooting stars. And the white shooting stars turned into a huge explosion. They all met together and they exploded in a huge white light that went across the sky. And then a huge super moon appeared, full moon. And this super full moon had on it in the middle of it appeared a circle, and the circle said, true Christians, and there was a blood red cross right in the middle of that circle under the true Christians. And I started screaming, it's the rapture, it's the harpazo, it's the catching away, <laughs> screaming all the names. And people were just, what? Boom. And then all of a sudden, I started shooting up into the sky, and my wife was with me, and very few people were leaving. That was a sad part. <clears throat> they were down screaming and looking up and I felt that electricity going through my body and that shock feeling that I have when I have these dreams and visions. And seeing the full moon is significant because my last rapture vision, Harpazo vision of catching away vision, there was a super moon again. And then an hourglass appeared in the middle of this one instead of the circle and the whole moon started shaking. And we were, we were just taken away then. And that was one that I did a few years ago. So I thought, wow, my body was electrified. And I was so tired because I got so little sleep before we started our vacation because of the long flight and everything. And the next thing you know, I'm just out again after a long time of that shock electric feeling. I'm asleep again. Other random dreams. And then later on, I'm somewhere else. And someone screams, come outside and look at this sky. This is very cool. It's, I went outside and I looked. There was all kinds of heavenly phenomenon going on. Just I can't even describe it all. Just brilliant lights and brilliant colors. And again, that big full moon appeared. And again, it said, true Christians with a circle in the middle with a red cross. And I started saying, come on, everybody get ready. This is Jesus. He's taking us home. And all of a sudden, boom, started going up in the sky again, the electric feeling, and just just the unbelievable feeling. This was many hours after the first one. So these were two separate ones. I believe the first one was a vision, very clear how it spelled things out. The second was a quick dream. But I'm telling you, my friends, we are so close to flying. I don't care what you want to call it. Many won't say the rapture anymore. That's why I've changed it to Harpazo and Catching Away, because the original transcripts of the Bible have those words, the harpazo and catching away, which mean, of course, the rapture. But when you're dealing with people who don't have much biblical knowledge and who are pretty clueless as to what the Bible says, you have to spoon feed them like a little baby sometimes and give them words. So those who understand what it is, I'm not spoon feeding you. These videos aren't for those who are healthy. It's the sick who need a physician, not the healthy. I'm encouraging the healthy. So here's the bottom line. If you've never been saved or you're a backslider, you need to get right with Jesus Christ right now because what I described in that vision and dream can happen in an instant and it will happen in an instant, any second. And if you're left behind, you're going to be here for seven pure years of hell on earth where Satan will just 
tear this word, world to its foundations, and God will just judge it to its foundations. About two-thirds of all humans are going to die the most awful, grotesque, horrific, terrible deaths possible. Why go through all of that? And sadly, most Christians are going to be left behind along with the unsaved because they won't repent. I've got 250 scripture from the Bible, and it's also commentary, that I have exhaustively put together over the years. A little child can understand it, but sadly, most Christians can't. If you want a copy, send me a message. Request it. I've sent it to tens of thousands around the world. I'll send it to you as well. And then also, I've got 150 scripture and also commentary. Same thing. Send it all around the world to tens of thousands. It proves the harpazo or catching away or rapture, whatever you want to call it, is pre-tribulation and nothing else. If you want a copy, message me. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. And again, if you've never been saved or a backslider, you make sure you pray that prayer. It's in the box below my video title. You pray it and do those six steps as soon as possible. There's no one to guarantee the next day, hour, minute, or second in their life. In that same box is my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved in the Tribulation, what to expect A to Z. True Christians, our job is to witness, pray, and walk away. That's it. Tell them about Jesus. Don't beat them over the head with the Bible. Let them know. Live your life as a living witness and let God handle the rest. Our job is to lead them to the living water of Jesus Christ. <coughs> we can't make them drink. But true Christians, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Make sure you share this rapture vision and dream with everybody possible. It's 40 of them now the Lord's given me. And we're so close to getting out of here. I praise the Lord. It's all glory to him. I never do anything to, to deserve these dreams and visions or anything else. It's all about him. Take care, my friends. Bye.